What is going on, Washington fans? So quick video here. We are expected to sign, or we did sign wide receiver Robert Foster last night. Uh, he did play for the Buffalo Bills, and we signed him off of the practice squad from the Packers. Um, and we, we need wide receiver help pretty badly. You know, AGG, Nick banged up. Isaiah Wright was banged up in the game. Um, Steve Sims is still on injured reserve. And um, even though the guys are healthy, we're just still lacking in offensive talent. We're just lacking in consistent, proven playmaking guys on this roster other than Terry McLaurin. We really are. And um, I, I think Robert Foster can really help this team. I really do. I'm not going to get my hopes up because, you know, you can look at the, the good thing in 2017 or 2018 when he was with Josh Allen and the Bills. His numbers were 27 catches for 541 yards and three touchdowns. So the guy is really fast, six foot two, 190 pounds. Yeah, six two, 196 pounds, ran a 441 40 yard dash at the NFL combine. He is another Alabama guy. Um, you know, we, we are the Washington Crimson Tide. So we got another Alabama guy. Undrafted was ranked, it was the second ranked wide receiver coming out of high school. So he kind of, you know, it just didn't work out for him in Alabama. But the guy has speed, man, and height. He just has things that you can't teach, speed, you know. And the the guy can run. We need speed. We we haven't been able to throw the ball downfield other than to Terry or to anybody else. We've just done dink and dunk and screens. And he can be good with that. He can, he can be good with reverses. You know, Scott Turner, he loves to do the wide receiver reverse, the pitch with the wide receiver going in motion and coming out of the backfield. I saw him in some highlights doing that too. So I'm I'm a little excited. I'm not going to get my hopes up about Robert Foster, but I think he can definitely add a different element to this team. And, you know, you look at our opponent this week, if he does play this week, you know, I don't know if he's going to play this early, but I would definitely put him out there. I would just like, hey, just run a go route. Let's see if we can hit it. Let's see if we can get you downfield for like a 30, 40 yard catch and see what happens, especially against this Dallas defense. I mean, you know, you, you see how bad they're, Dallas's defense is historically bad. They are historically bad. And uh, now they're calling out their coaches, saying their coaches can't coach. They're not prepared. Um, you heard Dallas players saying that the defensive coordinator or even the head coach, um, they, they don't make adjustments at all. They, it's just a lot of leaks coming up from Dallas, and their defense is really, really bad. Their secondary is pretty darn bad. So this is an opportunity this week to actually throw the ball downfield, to get the ball downfield, throwing the football, running the football, whatever. Dallas can't stop the run, and they really have not been able to stop the pass either. Um, Robert Woods also, his rookie year, he was pro football focus, all rookie team. He had 20.2 yards per catch, had a pro football focus grade of 73.3 receiving uh, as a rookie. He was 38th in the NFL as a pro football focus grade. So, there's a lot of good things about this guy, man. A lot of good things. So if we can get somebody that can take a little little bit of pressure off Terry McLaurin and run some deep routes for us, that's a huge, huge help. And I would definitely take a look at John Ross. I would take a look at John Ross. I would I would only give up like a sixth or seventh round pick. But I think with this offense, you, you got to add speed to the wide receiver position, especially the way that Scott Turner calls his plays with a lot of dinking, dunk, and wanting guys to make moves and makes guys miss. A lot of behind the line of scrimmage passing and screen passing. Speed, speed, speed will help this roster out. Guys that can make guys miss and run down the field. So I, I really like this signing. You know, I really like this. I'm not going to get my hopes up. And I like I like what Cam Sims did. I'm happy he finally got an opportunity and made the most of the opportunity against the Giants. And I want to see Cam Sims. I think this could be a good game for Cam Sims too. Not getting my hopes up against Dallas. I know Dallas is only a one-point favorite now. This is a pick em game. This is a toss-up game. Not going to get my hopes about this one because Dallas, they really are self-destructing right now. So we actually do have a chance to get to win this game, but I'm not getting my hopes up. And I do like this signing of Robert, Robert Foster. I do like this signing. I, I like it. I do. I, I want to see what he can do. I want to see what he, what he can do. So you guys let me know what you guys think about this signing. Is a miss signing. You, you don't care. You don't really think this is going to change anything. We're still, you guys probably still thinking we're tanking for Trevor. So all right, y'all. Hail to the football team. Peace.